tell Tone it's some real money in the room. Well, Max, so uh, for starters, let's let's just take it from the top. You from A. Leaf, Houston, right? So I was A. Leaf, Texas. How, how was it growing up in the SWAT? Um, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit older. Like, you know what I'm saying to y'all? So, like, I ain't get on social media till I was, like, 16. Like, my space like that. So, we really grew up outside, like, fighting, playing hide and go get it. Punching yeah. down, getting punched. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like, Man, stealing bikes. Like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That we just thought was normal shit. And, like, as we progressed, as we got older, like, you know what I'm saying? Just jumping off that porch. Me, it was really, like, when the louds can't keep in the door. When the feds raided our house. When I was 11. You know what I'm saying? Then right after that, my sure. brother going to jail. Ooh, that was with your dad's situation. Yeah, that was with my dad's situation. You feel me? Like, I've been in the streets like a like, little kid. Like, I don't mean like, nigga, seven years old out here selling dope. But I mean like, we really out here. We run up and down. Bitch, that in DA for real. Back when they had the guy, um, a Fiesta right there. Back when it was the HEB right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really putting on. You feel me? So shit like that. But, yeah, like. Well, well, let's rewind it a little bit, right? Because. Your your family is actually Nigerian. My dad Nigerian. My mama black. Oh, okay, she that American. makes a lot more sense. Yeah. You know, um, most Nigerians who come out here, in my experience, you know right. what I'm saying. Um, you know, most of them be lame. You know, a little more square. <laughs> nah, square. I, sure. I ain't gonna say lame, but square. You know, not like, real talk. <laughs> real talk. They crazy. they nah, um. Facts. You know, I remember, bro, like, especially A-Leaf is a high concentration of uh, Nigerians. I think Toby's Nigerian, uh, Dejo, yeah, yeah. uh, is, is like a lot of Nigerians. Even some of the more popular artists, when right. you do your background, they actually Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? And I remember, so I went to school with some um, Nigerians, and I just remembered, like, they were very square. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. And um, But you kind of... The father was odds, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I don't. Is, is that because your mom's black or is it? Because my mom black and plus like on my Nigerian side, my auntie snitched on my daddy. Like you know what I'm saying? They had like you go look it up all this dudes like all the paperwork. Like you know what I'm saying? Like your Nigerian auntie snitched my on your Nigerian, Nigerian daddy. Her, his sister. Yeah, his sister. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that like, and then so that really made me despise my Nigerian side because on my black side they could fight, go to jail, all this. But Thanksgiving, Christmas is still a family. We gonna laugh, cry together. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Hold it down is the most of loyalty. With them, I just see like a lot of disloyalty. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I done seen my my daddy on the phone arguing with his other brothers over land in Nigeria. I done seen him like one of his brothers die, and them niggas going back and forth. Like you know how niggas smoke dead ops? Yeah. They dead hunting each other. I'm like, that ain't like that ain't how we really move. You feel me? Like on my mama's side. So like my Nigerian side real like corrupted, you feel me? It's, it's interesting hearing you say that though, because most of the Nigerians I know stick together. At least right. in, in America they see, do like they it, it be pockets. And, and when see, if you go to like Nigerian, my daddy's side, you feel me? They gonna say they stick together that we just don't with them, but we got our own. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, they mama like you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I got uncles that got deported to Canada, like that. Like you know what I'm saying? On that scam fraud shit they did. That was the African mafia doing that. Shit. Like you oh, know that what I'm saying? Yeah, my like, yeah, like they gonna push education. Read your book, like you know what I'm saying for sure. Like, raised to be like this is our circumstances. Like, my dad ain't had no job, need money though. Anybody that knew what's going up, we had all the shoes, Jordans. They want for shit. you know what I'm saying? Cause my daddy had that money. Every time he go to jail, you know what I'm saying? They got fixed or not? Cause my mama, she ain't like you know what I'm saying. She had to go get a job. She was a housewife. You right. feel me? She so like every time I been with him. We had to figure it out. And me being the oldest, well, the, the oldest of my daddy, I got an older brother, but we got different daddies, you feel me? Same mama. Mm -hmm. And he always in jail, so I really had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that, that's very interesting uh, to hear. I didn't know that. You know, I, I heard you on a song saying, get, you know, getting head from a light skin to Kata. Yeah. So I just assumed, you know what I'm right. saying, you was fully African. Nah, nah they call me, bro, my daddy didn't get with, um, some of my Nigerian partners, they be calling me an African, a Kata boy, yeah. half that, cause like, you know what I'm saying, but well, that shit don't mean shit. But like really, with the Nigerian culture, where, wherever your father is, that's what you is regardless. Right. Ten toes slumped down, so you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Well, did you ever get made fun of, you know, um, one, one thing that I noticed growing up, it was the, like the African booty scratcher. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And um, You know, I know a lot of Africans ended up growing out of that and ended right. up becoming the right, right. <laughs> so everything. Oh, African oh, be the Bitch, you know what I'm saying? Up, man. 
Love Nigerian. On everything, you know, uh, they have that cash. You know right. what I'm saying? But uh, like I was about to say, with that, like, man, I I post all my pictures all the time. We was Jordaned up, boo booed up. Me and my brothers, my mama, like, you know what I'm saying? I know she got a job now, but, but before then, when my dad was in the streets, my mom and my aunt and them used to be boosting. So they hit like, like, Foley's all, Macy, TJ Maxx, whatever, like, going bad. So we was plotting the like, growing up. So, like, I ain't really get that. I get the African booty scratches sometimes, but, yeah, okay, I'm going to beat your ass. Right. That's one thing. He was like, one of them Africans. Yeah, yeah I'm going to beat your yeah, like, you really, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but sometimes I, I get into it with an African <laughs> yeah. on my black side. I'm like, man, you sweat ass African. Yeah. African booty scratcher. But then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my cousin Kevin. Shout out Kevin. Everybody know him. Kevin and Kerry, G Mob, Andy Texas. <laughs> he used to get on my. <laughs> Nigerian too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But that's like, look, kid, elementary. You feel me? Right. That, but I ain't really go through it like that. Like, God time fifth grade sixth grade come we in intermediate we going to young blood million and shit like that i was defending the nigerian kids that because like nigerians cheap that's why i was a lot in a leaf but like they could move out you see a whole family and the daddy pushing them to go to school education but they had more than 9700 just because africans cheap you know what i'm saying I, they yeah, cheap in a, uh, yeah. so like you know what i'm saying shit like that so yeah, though, no, but everybody knows Big Ebo. You know what I'm saying? Not your boy. Y'all know it's cracking. Yeah, I seen you link with Wale, and y'all was doing like some, uh, it was yeah. like an embracement of that part of your culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wale. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.